Assuming you followed the previous tutorials, double click on the Hollow Toolkit folder and then double click Assets. Open Unity. When Unity loads up to the project select screen, click on the new button. In the name field, type NRN HoloLens Dev 101. Now you can use a different name here, but it might cause some confusion down the line. Click Create Project. After a few moments of loading, you should see something that looks like this. First, let's bring the Hollow Toolkit into Unity by Alt-Tabbing, selecting everything but the Examples folder, and dragging it to the Assets directory in the Project view. Now, this process does take a few minutes, so I'll just fast forward a little bit. Sometimes after the process, you'll get a few errors in the console. You can just hit the clear button there. Now it's time to use our newly acquired Hollow Toolkit menu. Go to Configure, Apply Project Settings. This will cause the system to need to reload Unity. Um, it'll be now using the same menu, hit Configure, Apply Scene Settings. Now once again in the Hollow Toolkit menu, hit Configure and Apply Capability Settings. Uh, select all four options, Microphone, Spatial Perception, Webcam, and Internet Client. These all turn on specific features on the HoloLens. They won't work without it. Next up, we have to save our scene. Uh, to do that, we need a place to save it. So let's create a folder in the Assets. Under create, Folder, call it Scenes. Then go up to File, Save Scenes As, click on Scenes, and type in Main, hit Save. Now we're going to add some objects to the scene. Hit Game Object, 3D Object, Cube, to create a cube. We're going to do the same thing for a sphere, 3D Object, Sphere, then 3D Object, Capsule, and then one more time for Cylinder. Select Cube and change its Z component to 6. Now select Sphere, change its Z component to negative 6. Select Capsule, change its X component to 6. And then change the cylinder's Y component to negative 6. This is creating a cross of, of objects. Now it's time to build and compile. Go to File, Build, Settings. Hit Add Open Scene. Select uh, Target Type. Uh, target device HoloLens and Unity C Sharp project. Go to Player, and select Virtual Reality Support. Click that box. We should be good to go. Those are all the capabilities there. Now hit Build. Here we need to create a folder. Call it, call it App. Select that folder. Hit select folder and now we go through the build process when the build process is done a Windows Explorer window will pop up with our project in it double click app and then double click the SLN file with our name on it and now Visual Studio will load up our project once it's done loading Make sure the third section down there in the Solution Explorer is the one selected. You have two assemblies and then your third section. Now go to Configuration, select Release, Processor, x86, and select the HoloLens Emulator as our target. Click the arrow button and watch it go to work. Eventually the HoloLens Emulator will pop up its screen and you can start to see it going. It takes a moment for it to load its operating system because this is an emulator after all. Um, and then it will deploy. Here comes the Made with Unity logo, so you know it's a Unity project. And 
congrats. You now have your first working HoloLens emulator or HoloLens program if you are following that way. Make sure and stay tuned to Next Reality News for all your development news needs in the augmented and mixed reality realms. Have a great night, everybody.